Sometimes your desk is on one side of the room, but the display you want to use is on the other side of the room. But how do we get the signal there and maintain quality when it's a pretty long cable run? I'm Todd and this is Ask DRTK. Well, you can purchase lengthy HDMI cables to get your signal to the device or display that you wish to use. Sometimes a better choice might be to use an HDMI repeater. Let's take a look. There are many times when we may want to use a remote display. Could be for business applications, education, or even in a home theater. But once we get beyond 15 feet, we can run into issues where the signal degrades and it actually is possible to even damage components. And so there are a number of choices for dealing with this. We can use an active HDMI cable, which uses electronics and transformers essentially to boost the signal over a distance. We can also use a fiber optic cable, which has a converter on either end that allows you to run great distances, in some cases a couple hundred meters. Or we can use an HDMI repeater. And an HDMI repeater is essentially a signal booster that we can place in the middle of a cable run. And the way we do this is if, say for example, we need to use 30 feet of cable, well, we might use a 10 foot cable uh, from the original source, then install the repeater and finish up with a 20 foot cable. That way we don't exceed the 15 foot cable run and we have the boosted signal that can travel an additional 20 feet. And with repeaters, they have various abilities to boost the signal, but most will get you between 30 and 40 feet of extra run. Today, we're gonna to take a look at the Cable Matters HDMI repeater for HDMI 2.0. This repeater is capable of 4K up to 60 Hertz resolution, and it's rated to go as far as 60 feet, although I usually try to keep it a little bit less than that, depending on the quality of cable that's available. The repeater has a connection on either end, HDMI in and HDMI out. So you can see from the illustration that basically it just goes in line between your device and your display. And it also has an optional USB power source. HDMI by standard has a five volt power line included in it. And that is enough to power the repeater in my experience. But if you're going on a longer distance, you may want to try the USB power to see if it makes a difference. And the simple design here is we have the input coming into the repeater from the source with the output going our display. Note that direction matters. We can't go backwards with these. It doesn't work in both directions like a coupler because this is actually amplifying the signal. An additional feature is a couple of mounting holes on the back just in case you need to attach this in an area where you don't want it laying on the floor. HDMI repeaters are available for up to 8K resolutions but I will say that the 4K model used in this demonstration is available for around $15 at the time of recording, so you really can't beat that. Another consideration with these repeaters is, is there lag? So is there any delay from your source going out to the display? And I can tell you that these repeaters are widely used with VR gaming, and I haven't heard of any issues with lag in those situations, and that's likely where it would first show up. Now I wanted to include these images of the repeater itself with the HDMI input, output, optional USB power, as well as this picture beside a mouse, just to give you a sense of scale when we're talking about the size of these HDMI repeaters. If you're enjoying this video or you're finding it helpful, consider subscribing to the channel or smash that like button. It helps me understand the kinds of content you'd like to see and it also really helps out the channel. Now I'm running some 4K video on the display behind me using the repeater. And here I've got about a 30 foot cable run from my computer by the time it gets to the display through the walls and everything else. So just to give you an idea of the kind of experience you can expect. So there's a bit of bokeh or background blur in this shot, but you can see that the video runs smooth. There's no stuttering or lag. And this again is pushing the repeater to the highest spec for which it's rated. So I think based on my testing, and I've been using this now for a few weeks, I can definitely recommend the Cable Matters HDMI 4K repeater. Using an HDMI repeater isn't the only option for getting your source signal to a remote display or projector, but for $15, the Cable Matters 4K HDMI repeater is a pretty solid option considering you may already have some HDMI cables around. 
I do hope you enjoyed this video and I encourage you to check out our channel page for other content for distance learning, tech and content creation. And check out the other video on the screen. Take care everybody and bye for now.